Hey guys, uh, welcome to another stream with me, Supernautus. How are you today? Uh, today we are playing this. Uh, it is, of course, Ghost of Tsushima, the new PlayStation exclusive game. I am just going to get started just one moment. I was trying to get it to be captured through my uh, capture card, but for some reason that's not working with sound. So instead, we're going to play it this way. Through the PlayStation Remote Play system, I guess. So I'm hoping that doesn't drop out while we're doing it. Uh, if it does, I'll try and get connected back on. Uh, let's set the audio options to Japanese with English subtitles. Because I think that's about right. And let's see what it's all about. Well, I've already played a bit, so I kind of know what it's all about. But Now I'm playing it for you guys. Plus, in case you can't hear the audio, you'll be able to read what's happening. So here we have an invasion by the uh, Mongol Empire on the island of Tsushima. And we play as Jin. Jin? Yeah? Who is the... This guy. That's him. That's us. There must be. The Jedi craves not these things, no way. That's not right. Warriors of Tsushima. Uh, the the cutscenes and things, uh, which I quite like that actually. The fact that the cutscenes are not skippable, uh, you do have to watch them, but then they are kind of important for the whole story. I'll watch this. Guy's gonna get sent in to fight their best warrior. But, you know, this is where you learn that the rules are not uh, going to stand in favour of the samurai. Or at least by their code of honour. As you'll soon find out. Uh, so we're playing this on the normal difficulty, as you might have seen. Um, a lot of people have been thinking this is kind of a, a Souls-like sort of game. I didn't really, I've not really found it to be that way. Uh, I'm not a big fan of those kinds of games normally. Um, I didn't get on very well with Sekiro even, but I, I seem to be doing okay with this game. So I don't know if I would really call it that. But, you know. Play it on the hardest difficulty, who knows, I'm not going to. And burning and decapitation later. We've learned nothing new. Samurai. Except that this guy's bad. Do we surrender? No. I don't think surrender's in a samurai's vocabulary, is it? Charge. I'm gonna charge down all of these. Soldiers who are launching flaming arrows at us, boulders, and all sorts of horrible stuff. Just cut them down until we can't cut them down anymore. Until we get knocked off our horse. And now we have to take the fight to them. I'm also a little concerned my PlayStation can get very loud. So I'm hoping it doesn't get too loud. So that you can't hear me. Already the rest in noise from my mic is suggesting to me that it's going to be a little bit annoying. Right, push forward. And defeat some of these guys. 
They're gonna swarm us. Hunt down their leader. I like we're gonna be able to defeat him easily. So, uh, combat wise, fairly straightforward. Square and triangle for attacks. L1 to block. Triangle to do like a heavy attack. Where do you think you're going? Whoa. So yeah, I would say it's not overly sort of difficult feeling. Everything feels pretty smooth, pretty straightforward. A lot of those other games aren't necessarily about difficulty, but rather about patience, and tends to be the reason why I don't play a lot of them. I don't have any. <laughs> well, it's not entirely true, but you know. Are we good? One more guy? No, nope. he's down to. I love the soundtrack in this game. Uh, parry, you can tap the block button to parry at the last second. Which is useful too. We'll learn a bit more about the combat later on with it in a, a kind of tutorial. There's only one path. Find the leader, end him here. Here and now. And watch out for the people above us. Are they going to attack us? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're okay. Their leader is there. If I'm not, he, he says he's ready. Is he ready? Could he ever be ready? For what's to come? Probably not, right? Especially not if he's going to get a massive flaming thing launched on him. It's not going to happen. Oh, we got an arrow right in, our, in the middle of our back. You can watch him being, well, captured, killed. Just one more for good measure. And, you know, he's definitely not going to be uh, fighting back for a little while. Instead, we watch the victors collecting their spoils. I mean, well, I got no chance. Uh, from what I've seen in combat, in game, there aren't any sort of like slicing off body parts and things like that, which is okay. Although I do notice in cutscenes, body parts seem to go flying. So he's the grandson of uh, Genghis Khan. Apparently. Mm. Beads of sweat running down the face. Yeah, he's uh, definitely taken a page out of his grandfather's book, hasn't he? Planning, plotting, understanding what he needs to do. Of course not. A samurai wouldn't surrender, would you? Ever. He's going to use his own sword against him. But did he kill him? Well, there's the question. That you may find an answer to soon enough.
So here we are, we're left lying on the battlefield. I guess scavengers have picked everything clean. But I've moved! I'm moving! Go on, get up. Get up, Jin. Get up off the ground. Don't let this stop you. Up you get. There we go. Good. Now we get to see what's happening. What the Mongol hordes have done to us. I guess. Eventually. <laughs> wakey wakey. His wounds are healed. Somebody has been very helpful. But here we are, the village is on fire. Nothing can help us just now. I investigate things by holding R2 in areas. Uh, in this case, we're investigating what's going on. Supplies? Nothing that helps me right at this minute. Just a lot of enemies. Waiting for us. What's the way down? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, this way. <laughs> I did do this bit. I, I, I've actually done quite a bit off stream, but obviously we want to start fresh for for that. So we've got people all around. We're not to raise the alarm. Just to search for my katana. So that's what I'll do. I need to watch out because there are enemies around. I assume if we make too much noise we might get in trouble, although I, I haven't actually done that. So, Warrior sharpening their blade. My armour. Get that on. It's broken, but it's better than nothing, right? If we take a look around, there is clearly not a katana in this room. So we're still weaponless for now. Go, go, go! Outside, outside! Everything's terrible. It's a disaster. Come with me if you want to live. No. So now we obviously hear the the language of the sort of Mongol warriors and you don't understand what they're saying. Uh, unless you understand their language, of course. But it makes sense. What's happening now? You might ask. Right there. There we go. Just what he deserves. Knife right in the throat. <laughs> and everywhere else too. He's preparing the giblets. She is Yuna. Not to be confused with the character from Final Fantasy, right? So we have to follow her. So there we go. The, half the island has been conquered while we've been missing. Ooh. Surely he saw that. Thankfully it has a pretty standard kind of detection system. So we know that once that fills up, they'll be able to see us. It kind of goes gold and then red. Red to tell you that you've been detected. 
Go under there. And they say to forget about him. His uncle. That's who I am. Jin Sakai. Did he? There you go, so he's not dead. He must have just knocked him out with the side of his sword. No, they're not victorious yet. They're celebrating too early if they uh, think they gained victory. Needs my help. What will we do? Mm. Okay. So she knows where my sword is. So I guess we've just got to follow her. Okay, I'm to wait. And watch these people get killed, I guess. Nothing we can do about it. Instant death. Okay, can we go? I'm looking out, I'm watching what's happening, don't worry. Don't you worry. So basically interacting with things is with the R2 button. Uh, slipping through gaps or crawling underneath things. All of that's worked the same way. Uh, mostly, I've been looking at the way the mechanics of this work, and you can obviously either play the direct kind of samurai style, or later you do unlock the ability to kind of sneak around a bit. I'll probably mix and match that, that a little bit. I understand that obviously a samurai wouldn't do that. Would probably literally only fight directly. There we go. A uh, nice change of view when you are going over a rooftop so you can see everyone underneath you. See who's looking. I like the fact that it makes it easier to kind of travel around. Unlike Assassin's Creed that we've been playing, I've not seen anyone on the rooftops yet, so... Uh, we pick up supplies. The supplies are there. They help you upgrade your equipment, uh, as I'll show you eventually, once we reach an area where we can get off the ladder. Once we reach an area where I can do that. Uh, for now, let's just walk around. Uh, supplies in this room... And we go. Keep following Yuna, our savior, at least for now. And more dead people lying around. Let's go inside. So I know where my sword is, but there are th some things to pick up around here. Basically, any supplies, any stuff you come across that's flashing like that, you can pick up. And my sword is in there. And we'll learn we'll be having to use it pretty fast. I like this little scene. I like this scene. Well, after this bit. Where he learns a little bit. He's not a coward. I lack control. You shouldn't be throwing your scabbard away. Sakai clan sword. 
Who attacked him? No one. No one did that. It just happened all of a sudden. Yeah, but not against actual people. Anyone can fight the air. I've seen that be a complaint about some people who made about the game that he's very stoic and all the rest of it, and I think, but he's a he's a samurai. They don't usually run around laughing and joking, and well, I don't know. Anyway, we're fighting with practice swords right now, so. So yeah, quick attacks with the square button. Heavy attacks with triangle and you can point an attack at them and kind of thrust as well if you want. Like so. so. It doesn't seem like there's a method to lock onto targets, but then again that can be quite helpful. Yeah, he wasn't fighting back. Well, that's what people do, isn't it? But you lure him in first. And you let him come to you. That's the right way to do things. As a samurai. Look for the opening. So we have to break his defences. So yeah, why enough times it'll break their uh, defence, stagger them back. No. I would never lie to you, he says. He might be lying there. So blocking's fairly simple, just hold the block button down. You can't attack while you're holding the block button down, you do need to let go of that to actually attack. Uh, healing, you can see at the bottom left hand corner there you have three gold orbs, three gold circles, which are called resolve. Uh, you can use those to gain healing, it takes away one of those circles. You can get more circles, uh, more resolve as you play through the game by doing different things. Um, so it's not just three the whole time, unless you want it to be I suppose. Uh, but that's my health bar, and that's my resolve meter as it says. Uh, you can regain that by, as it says, killing enemies, parrying, using other skills. Which we'll learn in time. So now for parrying, you want to hit the button as he's about to attack. I didn't have the time to do that, so... And again. Parry, there we go. Just a case of timing it just right. Good form. <laughs> What's next? So spears are a little different in that you'll get this red... You'll get this red dot that tells you he's about to attack. You have to dodge that. Well, at the moment you have to dodge that. Again, there are skills you can unlock later which will give you other opportunities there. But a lot of dodging is required. So now we're going to spar. So here we go on. Oh, we've got to land five strikes. Okay. 
just parry. It's all that really matters if uh, you can, if you can get the right time in. Like that. He got one hit on me, that's alright. It's only a tutorial anyway. We'd have just been, uh, we would have had to have got whatever he wanted for food, right? Cheeseburgers? No, probably not. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, well, that one might be uh, a little looser for me. I suppose you could play it, you know, just in the... Following the code of honor of the samurai, if you wanted. From start to finish, although it might make some situations more difficult. Yeah. It should be straightforward. Not necessarily easy, though. Uh, I just need to fix something in the background here, just because... Uh, Kind of bright. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Not as bright this time in my face. We're under attack. I like the when he turns round. And the music's great. The music's so good. But here, when he lowers the sword, that reflection over his eyes is just fantastic. Come on then, pal. Let's have it. Oh, is that all? I did find my sword and scout here. Stables aren't far. We can get ourselves a horse. My kingdom for a horse. Now, do not raise the alarm. Is uh, an issue, maybe. Now, uh, this introduces another... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. At the moment, as far as he's concerned, there's no honour in that. But what if they're doing it to you? So we've got to face them. Uh, so if we point towards a target, we can attack. And then we've got enemies pulsing, which I assume means that they're about to attack you. And there we go. Three on one attack, nice and easy. Help the person who's in trouble. There we go. So that's solved nice and easily. Thank you. They were wrong. Stay away from the road. Hold on. They couldn't defend themselves, it's quite right. Can't let more people die. So she needs us to rescue her brother. And that's kind of one of the main quests that we'll take on shortly. Oh, the stables are ahead, but there's a bunch of guys. Now let's deal with them. Oh, 
There we go. Nice and easy. Three horses. We get to pick a horse. A samurai horse. Which one do I want? Uh, I'll go the, the, that one, I think. Yeah, be with me for my entire journey. Three name choices here. I'm going to play From the Darkness. Well, maybe. For a bit. Kage works for me. Kage! Yes. Also, it's kind of appropriate. There we are. And now we're riding from Komoda Town right the way through to that place up there to face the leader of the Mongol horde Castle Canada Canada Castle Canada They're all very polite there Not well not really not right now anyway and who's climbing the walls? Who's causing distractions? So, I'm introduced now to uh, another mechanic of the game. That I think is really good. As long as you time it right. Yeah. Wait here, I'll finish them off. So, we're going to challenge them to a standoff. Uh, the standoff is quite simple. Press up. You shout, come, come and fight me, basically. Hold the triangle button. Is it like a Yaijutsu duel or something? And then release when they charge you. Now, they do also do a faint attack from time to time that you need to watch out for. But I think as long as they're approaching you... I thought I aimed at him there. Oops. There we go, we parried his attack. And we took him down. Oh, there's a guy crawling away. We better uh, finish him off. Come on. Here they come. Uh, he just missed me with his attack there. Got him. There's a chest there. Can I open that? No, I don't think I can now that I think about it. Well then. Dead. Took his throat out. Well then. Guy just ran away with his back to me the whole time. Oh, that's a shame for him. Uh, that guy fell. Another guy there. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't shoot him in the back, so it's not my miss. It's not me that did it. Let's just go. that problem solved. There we go. Pick them off. Fall back. Keep the path clear, etc. So it's kind of a 
Well, I'll, show you. I'll, I'll let you see for yourselves. So, break his defense. Guys with shields, use the triangle defense breaking attack to uh, just drop their shield. Uh, my health's actually quite a bit lower than I expected. To watch what's going on around me. Bury that in him. Keep going. Anyone else? Break his defense after two hits because he brings his swords up, sword up to shield himself. Uh, now they're going to fire arrows at me. Uh, the way to avoid that is to just dodge, basically. And I'm going to do this a different way, just to no not because that didn't work. But there we go, nice and easy. And here we go. Let's have a little duel. Bit of a standoff first. This is like an epic scene. Uh, all of my... All of my resolve is back. Who's next? Bit of a parry just to just to end them there. Right then. Here he comes. That's, that's how short the game is, you know, you can finish it right now. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And your time is up. My time is now. told him much. Basically, as he told him that I'm not going to stop now until he's dead. So, in this fight, you can't actually win it. I don't think I'm really spoiling very much by telling you that, but you can't. Which is kind of obvious. I mean, you obviously aren't going to beat the leader of the invading army within seconds. That's just a, just an awesome, awesome sequence. That view is just... You can try, I mean, you can try avoiding his attacks and stuff. It doesn't hurt to try. up with him a few times. But, I mean, his his attacks are devastating. I wonder if you can defeat him in this opening sequence. I've never actually thought to try and see if you can. And I don't think you can. barely do any damage, so yeah, I mean, you probably could if you really wanted to. But, I don't, th I, I'd be interested to see if anyone has managed to. 
because it looks like you can damage him, but I mean you'd have to be very good to get him actually killed. And I presume that it probably wouldn't let you kill him anyway. This would probably happen. There's probably a cutscene where this happens. Regardless, I imagine. If anyone has managed to defeat him at the beginning there, I'd be interested to see it. I'm sure somebody will be able to. Maybe if you did it on the easiest difficulty. Because it looked like you could dodge his attacks quite easily, actually. So that's him watching his father defeated by some other enemy. I'm just getting myself something to drink quickly. It's a little fizzier than I wanted it to be. It's time. Just a sec. Just need to do something very quickly. Very quickly. that over there and let's get on with it so yeah pretty much just following along right now the whole island has come to mourn his father's death that's fine the birds in the trees you tell me what he is, will he? The shoes in the hallway. No, they're saying they'll help me. Yeah, so yeah, again, I'm obviously concerned slightly about the sound of uh, a helicopter taking off that... that my uh, PlayStation sounds like at times. And here we go, here's his uncle. Waiting at the top of the stairs. Oh, was he a coward? He was a child. We are some... no. They break out into a musical number. I've got all my family with me. No. Should be taking this seriously. It's a serious business. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Culturally, maybe. Just to make him proud. And that's, I guess, his aim throughout everything else. What about tomorrow? The Hidden Fortress, is it? Come to his fortress as a reward, as, an, as a ward, should I say, not a reward. Hey, you're being rewarded because this guy died, so you get to have this. That's not how it works, is it? Now, there is something I was interested in looking at as well uh, in the game once I've got past all the cutscenes. I guess he must have fallen in the sea there. Because this is like a beach. I guess he's fallen into the sea underneath that, but I don't know how deep that could possibly be for him to have fallen all that distance and survived. Oh, 
But, you know, he did. As believable or unbelievable as that might be. How do I save him? By saving him, I guess. Oh, he's got some nasty wind there. So, this is uh, something that helps you work out where you're going on your quests. These gusts of wind that you can see tell us where we're going. It's somewhere over here. And this first mission, it's very easy to, I find, miss exactly where you're supposed to be going, but... The wind cries Yuna. Here she is, somewhere. I thought I heard her. I did hear her. Where, Where is she? Is she over here? There she is. There she is. I got kicked off the cliff. He's alive, but I got booted off the edge. I could have saved him, he says. But the can was there. We couldn't have saved him then, right? He didn't fail, not yet. I think the good thing about me trying a bit of this before as well is that I kind of understand the combat a bit better. Rather than jumping into it blind, but... It is a great story. Well, it feels like one so far, anyway. I mean, it's the typical, you know, samurai revenge story. Mm. Something like that. You're right, I will. Hide. Or if you're dashing as well and you crouch, suddenly you do a little skidding movement, which is quite... Which is quite nice. So hide in the grass. It's Horizon. Zero Dawn, no? It actually feels very like that in, in the way that the grass works. They must be searching for me, you're right. Well, you say that. They're samurai horses. They'll come back. He can whistle without even... loud enough to call this horse. Of course they're hunting me. And you. So she wants us to rescue her brother. We could either try doing that straight away or we can do these other uh, people. I'm going to probably do the other people first. Claws to scale the walls. Yeah. I will meet you soon. Fair enough. But I need some help first. Yeah. That's the way it works. So that's kind of your introductory tutorial slat type element of the game, really. Uh, now here's the opening. The proper opening. Well, I don't know. It's the post credit stuff. <laughs> the dash across the fields.
It does look great though, doesn't it? Ghost of Tsushima. And we begin. Act 1, rescue Lord Shimura. There is something I find quite interesting. Uh, well, this is the island, first of all. So this gives an as an idea. We can discover new locations at the little question marks. These are tales, which are basically how to continue the storyline. Uh, it builds our legend. And uh, we, yeah, become tougher and stronger as that goes along. Uh, we have a variety of missions and areas that we can go to in order to progress. What we're going to do is we're going to head over for uh, Sensei Ishikawa, but first I'm going to go and get that undiscovered location out of the way. So if you want to find out how to get somewhere, if you slash the uh, touchpad up, uh, the wind blows in the direction you need to go. I believe we need to get across... I don't actually think we do need to get across here, but there is something here. Pick flowers, they work as like a currency. And also if you get off the horse here, you can uh, write a haiku. I'll compose it now. It helps with something. You can reflect on refuge. We look around, so the way this works is you look around, you find a world's reflection. Calm waters, calm mind. We'll do that one. You then have the option of growth that shelters all it sees. Submerged deep in nature's shade. I like that one. Then the only options we have here are sturdy do we stand or ever unbending. I think I'll choose that one. We get a reward for doing this. Of sorts. Obviously you don't get a great deal of choices. And I don't know if... When you do this, uh, well I get a headband of refuge. Um, which I can put on. Go to your gear. And on your outfit you can go to your, your headgear. And I can now put on either a white headband or the headband of refuge. Stick the headband of refuge on. Nice gold headband. Nothing more important to a samurai than accessorizing. <laughs> I don't think that's true. So yeah, from here there's a lot of different places we can pick up on the way. Uh, also, if you meet like people with a little speech bubble next to them, they'll usually give you uh, locations you can go to, things you can pick up and do, uh, which are, you know, a variety of things really. But a lot of them have been quite interesting to me so far. Uh, I'm gonna just... Who's this? Oh, we can have a little standoff. Time for a little standoff. Seems to work against any particular weapon style. From what I've been able to see so far. Dropped his shield and we finish him off. There's an archer there, so I'm just gonna try and dodge these guys and deal with the archers. This guy's a bit worrying because he's a bit tougher, but not anything to be too concerned about. Especially now that there's no archers to worry about. But he does three attacks. And then he's tired out. 
and if you get hit by one you'll get launched through the air so best not to do not to get hit if you can but he does three attacks and then leaves himself completely open oh is he suffering is he there you go then it's more than he deserved and let's keep going to our objective I don't think there was anything else to deal with there right now, so let's just head on to our objective. Hmm. I think it's this way, is it? Yeah, we're pretty much correct. Straight ahead. Not the best way to do it, but never mind. So we're going to try and make our way to this undiscovered location first. Probably need to kind of go on oh, that side of the water. Which means we might need to cross this bridge. It's a big place there. Some kind of fortress or something. Hiyoshi Prefecture. So yeah, straight across here. No trouble at all. Liberate Ogawa Dojo. I don't know if I want to do that right this minute, but... Seems like you can pass through the bamboo here. Oh yeah, and you will pass uh, little trees and things that you can pick off, which help you improve your, your bow, and uh, there's other things you can pick up that will improve other equipment. Uh, iron to improve swords and... And such, Yoichi's Crossroads, more Mongol territory. Uh, if I remember rightly, the way I want to go, it is this way. Uh. So again, we need to just kind of bypass their territory just now. Can't get involved in any major fights at the moment because, well, it's too early. place we want is up there, right on the tip of this island. That's it there. Right there. And there we pick up a bow. Well, specifically we pick up a... So, for example, if I go... Yeah, okay. If I go to my gear just now and select my sword like that, I can select from a couple of different uh, cosmetic appearances for my sword. Uh, I'm going to go with that one actually for now. Um, and you can buy, you can buy more of those. You can find things, I guess, as well. Although I haven't specifically found any. Right, so now we're going to go here for the tale of Sensei Ishikawa. It's not Yuna's brother, but I feel like he did say he was going to do this first, so... We should do this first. Enter this town. Of Hiyoshi Springs. So we want to head to the inn. Is that the inn? Yeah, that's the inn. So we're going to find out if we can get his help. Yes. About the only one alive right now. Well, not the only one. No, it wasn't. He just didn't. Yeah, please show me the way. To go home. He was not there. Hmm. So he's always been a private man. Not stories. <laughs> Sunk a pirate ship? Hold on, mate. 
someone to talk to in here, just a sec. I look fatigued. Uh, maybe. What's she, what's she planning? Is it your sister in Hiyoshi Springs? Is that not where I am? Alright, so... I'm very confused. I thought we were in Hiyoshi Springs. Visit my sister here. Right where we are right now. So where are we going here, pal? It's a long run. Could have just told me. Would have been a lot easier. Up on the cliff. Well, that building up there. Okay, so we can climb the cliff. I know where it is. So if we look up, we get this. Uh, a thing to kind of help you spot places. Focus on them. Do I know the answer to that? Yeah, nobody knows the answer to that. Hmm. Well, he obviously prefers to do this. So you can probably find a way up the other way, like round the edges of the cliff or whatever, but the best option really is just go straight up the front. Let's go straight for him. Feels a bit Assassin's Creed, this. <laughs> hey, press R2, it'll help you climb back down off the wall. Which is definitely a useful thing, because if you jump off, obviously you're gonna... You're gonna die. Oh, collect a... Uh, Azora headband. And we don't want to climb off the cliff right now. If you don't mind. Well, there's blood on the ground. And a struggle here. Nothing there to be worried about. Someone wounded. Pulled an arrow out of their body, and now we've got some bloody tracks. Is he in his house? In his house? So let's find him. Into his humble home. He was ready for me. Don't move! That's me! Uh, barely. Attacked by bandits. Okay. He's still alive. He's a prisoner of circumstance? No. To track his student. Mm, well, both. Mm. Try and keep up, he says. Asking me to keep up. This old man. So this is the tale of Sensei Ishikawa. Ishikawa? Oh, there was something I wanted to check, actually. There's uh, something in the options. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, if we go to display, where we can... I'd rather you showed that. Where you can turn on what's called Kurosawa mode. And what that does is it creates something that looks like a, an Akira Kurosawa film. 
Even making the sound seem a bit like it too. Don't know if I could play the whole game like this. Let's try it for a little while. Yeah, Tomoe has no clan. I think the audio is still clear with that, isn't it? <laughs> Remembers most of the students he rejects. The only thing I'm not sure about with this is... You don't really get a lot of the burst of colour and other effects, do you? You lose some of the... Yeah, I'm going to put this off just because you lose, you lose some of the... Um, some of the effect of the game, I think, by turning that mode on. It's an interesting mode. Again, I don't think it's something I could play the entire game with. Oh, I messed that up a little bit with the timing. So that's better. Yeah, they're not very good, are they? Yeah. Can you put your sword away? <laughs> there maybe is a button to do that, I'm not aware. Is he leaving footprints now? <laughs> Let's track. Yeah, we better uh, deal with them as quickly as we can. Okay, so again, we've got kind of a almost detective style sequences. It's a little bit of blood. Well, no one died there. Gave that to his greatest student, and well, now she's disappeared. Disrupted. What does he fear? Well, yep, that would be uh, one possible reason. Mm -hmm. They may. So we're heading, I wonder if that's that fort we saw before. Probably is, right? Yeah, just about everybody. No. Tactics, that was why. If you fight dishonorably like that and your enemy can't use those dirty tactics, I guess that's an advantage, right? In some ways. Right, we need a bow. It's <laughs> a good thing you're giving it to me. After I'm saying before, you're a failed student. I have to shoot straight, not like a drunk badger. So you want me to aim at that, yeah? So I need to work out the exact area you're supposed to line up with for some of these shots. Seems straightforward enough, but... 
That was too high. There we go. Second line. And then to release it, just let go of the L2 button without firing. Yeah. yeah, there's not one yet, you're right. So here we go. Fort Nakayama. What are we going to find here? Perfect for what? What exactly? <laughs> Seems like ambushes are okay though, I've noticed. Like, ambushing people is apparently acceptable. But sneaking up behind them and stabbing them isn't. So there's a few options we've got for like environmental options to shake off the enemies. Some explosive barrels. Yeah, they even had them in uh, Feudal Japan. A hornet Nest would do some damage. I'll sting people anyway. Also set fire to some stuff with that. And, well, we can see that they're mostly archers. A lot of archers. Storm the fort. So the best option right now... You can tell me when I can fire. Better not hold that because it doesn't he doesn't hold his shot forever. He will eventually let go and fire. That looks like a pretty good place to start. Come on, let me know when I can fire. I don't have a lot of arrows though. And as you see, that uh, that causes them to be very upset, and in fact die. Killed by hornets. Pick up some arrows before we move. Oh, here we go. Um, there's explosive barrels right there, I think. Nice. More of them are inside. There they are. Yep, let's go. I'll just uh, we drop down here. Makes perfect sense. And now we've got to make our way inside. Last, that was nice and easy to get rid of them this this way at least. Saves a lot of time, a lot of issues. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to use my healing items now. Come on then. Nope. Not your time for that. Who's that shooting at me with arrows? I really want to take out the archers first, but they must be inside. That's their leader, if we can take him down first. And he dodged. Come on then, attack me. Their leader's down. That means we can unlock, uh, eventually we unlock a different fighting stance, which is better against those kinds of enemies. But for now, what I need to do is, uh, I'll get some arrows first. And get inside. Do 
Jump up on the ceiling. What a feeling. Who else? Oh, it's you. That one was easy. Is there anyone left? Like, are any of these guys on this rooftop alive? Guess not. Oh, pick up some extra items that are helpful. Had a bit of trouble at the beginning of that fight, but I think we're okay now. Okay, so she was here then. And I'll search the place, okay. Like, leapt into the air going through that wall. Or window. Any items worth picking up while we're in here? No. Apart from that. It's a kimono! Apparently it's a woman's kimono. Freed! At last. Free at last. Yeah, but why? That's the question, isn't it? The obvious answer would be she's taken their side. Maybe she was uh, against them all. Did he just fly over to me? Oh, it doesn't look like you can go on fire. At least not from that. So what do we have here? Oh, must be. So she's been teaching them, he, teaching them his skills. What he taught her. He'd be wishing he never taught her now, wouldn't he? Well, nothing more we can do here, it looks like. Oh no, these archery targets might be an issue. Uh, what's that? So arrows shot in a tight, tight grouping. And they're definitely her arrows. I think at this stage we're pretty sure what's happening. On that side of things. A lot of blood as well. Oh, I hear someone. Someone who survived. So cold. You don't have to talk. Press R two to talk to him. Oh, and then she. Oh yeah, she bought her way out, did she? Uh, proved her loyalty. Well, why not? Where do you expect us to take you? Okay. Go where? This way. Yeah. Pushed her too hard, so she decided to join the people who who are murdering everyone. Seems a bit much, right? A bit of a stretch. Right. He lied. No, that's true. You can't do that. 
You can't do that. Ah, throwing his own quotes right back at him. You said that. You said that, you know. Okay. I have his word. And you should always trust a samurai's word. For the most part. Yeah, you'll do that as well. She is one of the finest warriors on the island, so we should definitely find her. What's the horse doing? It's trying to eat me. This horse is a... It's not a cannibal, because I'm not a horse. So we finished the tale of Sensei Ishikawa, or Ishikawa... I don't know. What's that horse playing at? We've gained a technique point. We can improve our skills. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can improve your skills. So you can either improve these, which are deflection and evasion. Uh, you've also got mythic skills, which you learn by doing some missions later. And uh, these exploration ones, which just help you out a little bit while you're wandering around. But right now, we don't have really any choice. Um... You could do a deadly counter-attack, but I'm probably going to start with the roll. It helps me close distance on archers and things like that, so I think that makes some sense. While also avoiding their bow, their their arrows. Because really they're quite annoying and it'd be, it's much easier to get rid of them as quickly as possible, you know? So now we're looking at the tale of Lady Masako. Uh, the women of Clan Adachi as well. They're warriors, great warriors. So we'll need to track them at some point very soon. But what I am going to do first is there's a couple of places that I could do with clearing out. And I think the fort is done. I don't think there are any enemies there to worry about anymore. So we're going to head off to, well, this location first. I want to get a quick look at the dojo there. And maybe a little look at Hiyoshi Springs as well. Where I was told to go to by somebody who was already there. Oh, go to Hiyoshi Springs. But wait, I'm here. Is there anyone else alive in here? Because I know you can clear these areas. You know, it looks like they're all gone. Make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, there's a ver variety of things you can do to improve your yourself. There are um, shrines that you can get to which will help you make some improvements. Uh, and all the different side quests and things which will just help you level up your kind of tail a little bit uh, more easily. I've gone too far that way. Oh, I didn't want to get off the horse. Uh, the horse riding is pretty straightforward, but... So here we find a camp full of survivors. Uh, in here, there are uh, people you can talk to. These guys, like this guy here. Uh, they'll ter tell you about... They'll tell you about places where there are things happening that might be of interest. Like this. It's a, a samurai that he doesn't know. So we'd be interested to find out who that is. There's a trapper here you can use to improve um, your storage capacity for ammo. Uh, so things like that. Uh, in order to do that, you can sell the stuff that you've got as well, but really you'd be better to keep hold of it. To do that, we need to get hides from predators. Uh, things like wild boar and uh, bears around as well, I think. Uh, that we can deal with. Uh, so we're going to talk to this person as well. I don't have anything I can buy right now because I haven't really built up enough of anything to to do it. Yeah. So there we go, another another little 
thing. Really, that's teaching you about one of the uh, things you can do, if you like. That, that you can find dens of foxes. Uh, and when you do, through improvement, I think you gain... There's, like, charms you can get, which improve your, your fighting abilities. Uh, and they're interchangeable. I've forgotten which way I came into here from. Oh, there's my horse. What he's doing inside those... Inside that bamboo, I'm not really sure, but... But that's where he was. Okay, so yeah, that's just a... A little survivor camp. There are a few of those dotted around. And some other places where you can find survivors as well. But we're going to go to this dojo now. Because when I was passing it did say that we needed to clear it out, so... Let's have a look around. I'm sure it said that I had to... No, what am I doing? This is Ishikawa's... We've already been here, it's nonsense. I am in the wrong place, it was this one, I think. Yoichi's Crossroads, yeah, the Ogawa Dojo was the one that we were looking at. So, okay, instead for now we'll head down towards... Oh, I don't know if I can get down there this way, I might need to... Climb down the cliff. Because I don't know where the path is to get down, really. Pretty good at climbing. In ways that are totally unbelievable. Uh, back down this way. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to drop like that. The views from the tops of things are fantastic. I mean, it, it's a really nice, a really well-designed world. You can view things way in the distance. Is there a way down from here? Yeah, there are things here as well, like hot springs. Um, there are improvements you can make so that when you go to a hot spring, it will give you more health permanently. And a variety of other things like that. There's a person to talk to down here. Oh, is that that woman that told me to come to Hiyoshi Springs? Well, here I am. Or is it someone else now? Because... Is she going to tell me the same thing again? Oh, do I know the tale of Tadayori? It's a suit of armor we can find. At some point. And where will I find him? Asimo. I will have a look. But yeah, so in towns and places you will find more people that you can talk to who will give you missions. By just talking to them. They won't give you missions as such, but they'll say, Oh, I've heard about this thing over here. You should go and look at it. Then you go and look at it and you... Find all sorts of things. Quests or gear or whatever. There's the bathhouse area, although... So in some of them you can bathe. I'm not sure if you can here. Um, we don't need to right now anyway, so... And with that you reflect on things that have happened. Yeah, so we're going to head towards Yoichi's Crossroads. Uh, that will give us a boost in our stance progress, which just means there's a leader there that we can take down. Which will help us get an extra kind of fighting style, I suppose. That's a bit better against enemies with, with shields. I know that much because I've kind of got that far, but I've gone completely the wrong way. That's not helpful either. We want to go that way, but first I have to get out of the town. And I can't remember how. Oh yeah, I think I need to go down here and then across that bridge over there. Would I like to see what the merchant has? Not right now, because I have no money to pay for anything. So it's kind of pointless at the moment. But here we go. 
So yeah, you'll find the enemies kind of wandering around the forests. And... It is that way, isn't it? Yeah. And animals as well that you can take down for improvements to your, I guess, capacity for holding things. I can see there's some guys up here. So... I'll just finish them off from horseback this time. Makes things a bit easier. Almost uh, got another point to improve ourselves. Not quite, though. Which way now? This way. You can see somewhere on fire. This will be the place we're looking for, right? We've arrived at our tracked location. Well, let me just check something. Yeah, that's fine. We might even go there. Oh, we can have a little standoff. So I, I, I like doing the standoffs. So we'll do it every time. We get the opportunity. And now. Uh, now's not your time. Sorry, mate. Archer there. I'm here. Come on. What are you waiting for? Ah, that guy took advantage of the situation as he should. Well, there's their leader. Oh, I need to deal with that archer. Come on then, take a jump. That guy's uh, not dead yet. Oh, I let him through. Uh, the only trouble with that roll is that sometimes if you're trying to avoid an attack, it sends you too far away from the attack. Quite break his defence there. But there we go, their leader's down. And that just improves us towards the water stance. And we gained a point, that's what we wanted. Oh, I can't do it until the thing's off the screen. Where was that guy? Is he, did he die yet? The one that was crawling along the ground? Ah, it looks like he did. Shame. Could have finished him off. Oh, there's some supplies there. Those are one of the most useful things for making improvements to your weapons and equipment. And we've cleared that area. So as well, that gives us kind of a clearer view on what's happening around us. Um, we'll maybe try and clear this area. I'm going to go to whatever that next one is. It's that way. There's so much to see and do as well, you know, I mean, you don't have to immediately jump into the the storyline if you don't want to. Oh no. Yeah, that almost killed me. Which isn't really surprising when you think about it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the fox's den. I don't know why I took that dive, that was ridiculous. So yeah, we can chase this fox, chase the fox, follow the fox. For some extra items and things. Well, eventually. Oh, I need to spend that uh, point as well for improvement. Well, we'll do that in a minute. Oh, I missed that. I pretty much already know where this is. The one thing I'm not too sure about is 
if you go to these areas before the fox leads you there, if the things are there in the world, or if they only appear once the fox has led you to them. I'm not too sure. But he leads you to this little statue. You honour the fox shrine. To Inari. And then you gain a, an extra slot for charms. Uh, which are improvements to your weapons. So I haven't actually got any right now. But uh, there's three slots there on your weapon that you can add. Uh, to what are called charms into. I don't have any right now so I can't really show what they are. Uh, but essentially they're little buffs that will uh, improve your fighting, you know, or will reduce the amount of damage you take or, or whatever. You know, pretty pretty standard sort of stuff. Uh, so from here, obviously we want to take something else, maybe the perfect parry. Uh, we can do some of that sort of stuff. But then there's also these things. Now, if we go to Hot Springs, uh, this will mean that it will increase our maximum health uh, over, the kind of, over our sort of period. Uh, that will increase our maximum resolve. Uh, there's these little sort of bamboo things you cut with your sword. Uh, and then there's others, the Shinto shrines, you'll find charms and uh, personalization items and all that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to take that just because we can find hot springs kind of all over the place and it'll help us boost ourselves a bit more. So yeah, we can track those kinds of locations with the guiding wind. However, we're not going to do that right at this minute. Uh, places that you've cleared or been to, you can fast travel to as well. Uh, if you really want to. There is, if I remember rightly. I can't remember. There was a side quest I did near here. Oh, do you know, it might be over there. One of these bridges. Oh no, it might be that one. We'll go to that first. That is this way, of course. Let's get the horse. He always seems to appear behind us. I don't know if that would happen if you've got your back to the edge of a cliff. But We're off again. We're on our way. It's that big bridge up the top there that we're heading to. I've noticed the horse doesn't like deep water, he seems to be alright with the shallow bits, but he won't go striding out into deep water. So here we go, there's a little mission here. I don't know why I keep jumping off the horse. Hello, what's happening here? Let's get on here then. They're shooting arrows at us. What's wrong with him? He's stuck. They're using him as bait. Alright, to get everyone else to come out on the bridge and get killed. Well, let's uh, sort that problem out then. Fast as we can. So this is the incident at Hiyoshi Pass. Incident, yeah. The brutal attack at Hiyoshi Pass. I don't know if I can hit this guy from this distance. Oh, do you know, I think I might have. I'm not so sure about that. Oh, I totally missed him because I was aiming to completely the wrong place. Too high, actually. Alright, well, I don't have very many arrows, so this isn't going to last very long, but... couple of shots there. There's guys below me here as well. If I can find them. There they are, look. I don't know. I think that this should be a headshot straight in the head, right? I didn't kill him. And I'm out of arrows now. So, we'll have to do things the old-fashioned way until we can pick up some more arrows. Get down. And I really need healing. 
If this doesn't kill me, I'll be surprised. Oh. Just keep dodging, just keep dodging. And use that when we can. There we go, right. Let's keep moving. We need to get to the other side. Oh, there's a guy down there. Thought he could escape. He was wrong. This is quite tense now because I've got very little health. Nope. Not for you, I'm afraid. All that's waiting for you is death. guy's on the other side again, so switch sides once again. Right, so we've got to get all the way to the other end of this cliff face, it looks like. Where are these archers? on the other side again. They switched sides on me. Oh, I can't go swimming. Oh, that was nasty. We're going to die here. <laughs> there he is. Use that healing while you can. Submerge yourself, but we weren't we weren't in deep enough water there to do it. And we should be out of sight for a minute, for long enough at least for me to get out of the water. Don't think so, pal. Got some arrows now. Oh, that guy's not dead. Oh, what am I doing? There's still more of them. Oh, why is he not going to end his suffering? Come on! There's a guy over here. Take him down. Where's the last guy? There's another guy shooting at me from somewhere. Where is he? saying anyway. Alright, so he's on the other side. Can't see exactly where on the other side, but oh no. I see him now. He's quite far away actually. Oh no. I missed him. I don't think I can hit him from this distance. But I don't know, maybe. Ah, oh, nice shot. Nice shot. There's more of them. Oh no! I did not know there was another one. Where did that guy come from? I'm sure I'd taken them all down. There must be another one on that side. Oh, there he is up there, look. What's he doing? Is he lying down behind the thing? Can he not see me there? He's not shooting at me, is he? He's shooting... I can't hit that person. You'd think that all of those shots would have hit there. Wait, is he dead? No, he's not. I'm going to have to get on the other side and drop down, I think. Drop him from above. I guess he's their leader, whoever that, whoever it is. Oh, there's uh, hornets there. I don't want to get stung to death. Please. No stingy today. Where is this person? There he is. Alright, pal. 
Well, they just raised the alarm, but hopefully we got away quickly enough to make that no longer an issue. Alright, pal, uh, you can get them off the bridge now. Yes, I think you can. Everyone's dead, so... Let's go in front of him to rescue him. No, they've not stopped. No worries, everyone across the bridge now. Fast as you can. Speak with his uncle. Hello. Yeah. Did they scream? Did you hear them screaming? Heard them shouting. Really need to uh, look at ways of improving my resolve, I think. <laughs> there we go, another incident passed. If you excuse the expression. We did, uh, yeah, we did spend the improvement point, didn't we? And there we have a charm now, a defensive charm. The charm of unyielding. Tales of Tsushima are available. Mythic Tales are available. That's great. I've acquired a new weapon. Yeah, that's the bow. I can equip charms. I wish it wouldn't tell me all this because I already knew. Uh, so that'll reduce damage taken while at 50% health or less. Wouldn't hurt to have that active. At least for now. Uh, right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and liberate this dojo. Because it's not that far away. up on our horse because I don't feel like walking all that way. This must be the place, right? This place is on fire in front of me. It has to be. I don't know if I'm ready for this. But let's find out. Let's find out. Right, pal. Ready to die? Looks like he was. The good thing is as well, I don't think anyone saw me. Oh no. I can't challenge him, unfortunately. Don't want to be there, it's a little bit blocked up there. A little bit congested. Sure. I was going to say, can you shoot me through walls? Luckily you can't, so that's alright. Who's next? Oh, I didn't see him there. Just a bit of healing required. What's that? He's got something on him. Some arrows, they'll be useful. Is that a guy over there? Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, I missed him. But that headshot will do nicely. How many enemies are waiting near us? That'll be the question. He saw me, but he didn't. Must be a guy on the wall, is there? On this ladder. Anyone want to come up? No! Well, that's probably not a great idea then. Fighting them up there, is it? I need to take him down from above, from here, if I can. Missed. Because I needed to quickly. Come on. I've got no arrows, or have I? I don't know. No, I don't think I've got any arrows. I don't. Right, I'm just going to have to try and avoid him for a little bit. Unless I can find some arrows before... Bloody shoots me all the time. 
He's going to have to come down from there if he wants to chase me now, though. Is he going to? No, I guess not. He's not too sure where I am, though, is he? This probably wasn't the best idea doing this now. Oh, there's some arrows there. I wonder if I could get him from here. Probably not, right? It's probably, um... Exaggerating my abilities with the bow a little bit. Ah, missed him by just a tiny little bit. Problem solved, right. Who's next? Yeah, I'm here, come and get me. Oh, he's an archer, is he? i got to watch out, because there's probably other guard towers here as well, aren't there? It's easier just to take them out now, to be honest. Rather than messing around. Alright, your turn. That's the wrong place. There's dogs as well. You gotta watch out for them. Ah, and they'll slash, like, bite away at you as well. I didn't. There's another one. Do you know what? I need to go somewhere where that dog's not gonna get me. Can't get me up there, but archers can. Ah! I don't have enough uh, healing to deal with this if uh, they shoot me with an arrow again. Let's get somewhere that's a little more sheltered. I'm dead! But not to one of the guys. That dog's just scary. Yeah, that fight might have uh, been a little bit much for me. Does everything start all over again? Do I have to... or are the people who I killed still dead? I don't know, it looks like maybe... People have taken down state. I don't know, this is just tempting fate going back in here again, isn't it? Let's see, we need to collect these banners, is what it's saying. Well, so far so good, I'm not gonna... I really need to see where these dogs are. To take them down. Okay, there's another thing just here. Where's the next building? There's a building over there, so I'm assuming... Time for a bit of a standoff. Go on then. That recovers all of my uh, resolve, at least. At the moment, I don't believe we have the ability to do sneak attacks. However, these dogs are pretty brutal. They're fighting a team too. Of course they do, they're generally pack animals, aren't they? But that should help me. Generally. And those bred very specifically to attack. He saw me, but he didn't see me, if you know what I mean. 
Does that mean I've liberated the dojo? Alright, pal. Take a headshot. That, that apparently sh uh, kicked up some dust around him. Come on then, guys. I'm giving you a chance. To die. What's left to do here? Have I not cleared this area now? Not quite. There'll be a leader here that I need to take out. See if we can spot him from up here. Or anyone else that might be an issue. I think he's probably over this way, is he? Oh no, it's we've got to destroy this. I think we need to go down and light it up. Why would he why would he attempt that kind of jump? That's just Uh, ignite this and then we can get out of here. Uh, better get further away. Fast as I can. You're not supposed to look at explosions, are you? I guess this is their leader. If I'm fighting him one-on-one, -on -one, that's alright. I can handle that. Oh, is it going to be a... A duel... This guy looks quite deadly, actually. I'm a little concerned. Here comes his sword. I might be I might be doing this too early in the game. <laughs> we'll soon find out. There we go. It's a deadly duel. Oh yeah, he's like a warlord. I think I've made a mistake here. I've made a big mistake here. I should be breaking his defense, is what I should be trying to do. And these those attacks are unblockable. No, I shouldn't have gone here. I shouldn't have done this. This is uh, way too early in the game for me to be trying this place. I didn't realise it was going to be like that. Have I even hit him with any of these attacks so far? I don't think I have. I can only use my sword as well. It's not like one of those uh, things where we can draw our sword quickly on him. I could have got him there if I'd been a bit quicker. He's bloody quick. Could it? He just doesn't take any damage from those, from me doing that to him. So it's the normal method would be dodging him. Now I'm dead. Okay, so maybe we'll leave that area till uh, later. Until we've improved some of our abilities. Oh wait, I can't. Have I, am I stuck in this fight now? Okay, that seems to knock him off guard a little bit, but... And I've got no way of healing myself either, so... That did sa that staggered him. But I didn't I didn't take advantage of it quickly enough. That roll was no use in fights like this, you see. I need to stagger him, obviously, and then. 
Oh yeah, maybe I can beat him. If I just think about this a bit more. Oh no, I can't let him hit you with those attacks. Those unblockable attacks. And I can't recover my health at all. I don't know if there's any way to succeed at clearing that. Doesn't look like it. I don't know if I can... I wonder if I can parry any of his attacks. Otherwise we might have to somehow find a way to not do this. So, unless he throws an unblockable attack, in which case obviously we can't... Oh yeah, that's the way. The parry is the way. That does him quite a bit of damage quite quickly. But not with that attack. Oh, why didn't I get out of that combo? I don't think I can parry his kicks, I might be wrong. Ah, oh, we might be alright this time. You know, we might do it. There we go. Took a couple of attempts, but I worked out how to beat him in the end. And now we've learned the water stance, which actually gives us a better chance against shielded enemies. Um, with some shield breaking attacks. And that's highly effective against, surprise surprise, shields. That might be a surprise to you. And he's down. It's probably a mission you're not supposed to do this early, isn't it? <laughs> But we've liberated the dojo. People can come back. And we've improved our legend. We're now a wandering samurai and our health increases. So there we are. A warlord falls. And we reclaim some part of the island. There's a heck of a lot more of them to come though. Gained a new technique point and a new ghost weapon. Let's see what that is. Ah yes. So we can choose to have uh, kunai. Well, I think that's the only one we can have right now actually. Um, and also throw an additional one. Let's have that. I know I could have probably kept those on something else, but uh, you can increase things like your standoffs as well, get a standoff streak so that you can uh, take a second enemy, and there's even a level to take a third enemy, I think, there too. Uh, did I have any more charms? No, no. So let's take a look at the map. So we cleared that. That is now ours. And I'm going to head down towards this mission. I think we'll probably make that mission where we finish today. Uh, so if I do that, press circle, I can go into this water stance. Also, I'm absolutely covered in filth. Well, in mud, anyway. It takes quite a while to let, to let you regain control. Um, once you've completed a mission. But we're going. We cleared the dojo, we're ready to rock and roll. Or something. Along those lines. Uh, yeah, so we do want to be on the other side of the water. At the very least. So we'll pick up whatever this little uh, undiscovered location is. We'll see how we get on. Oh, I'm too far to the to that direction. I think this might be another fox place. Might be wrong. Something shrieking there. Oh yeah, it's another fox den. Hello, Mr. Fox. Where are you taking me today? I know I can't follow these foxes everywhere on horseback, so I'm hoping... These guys will leave me alone, which is fine. And they're fighting a bear or something anyway, so... 
they've got their hands full. And this is the thing we want. The Shrine to Honour. And that will give us another charm slot when we eventually get to that stage. Uh, okay, so yeah, as I say, the last thing we're going to do... I did do that, didn't I? Is this mission. Uh, Yuna's mission, obviously, would continue and rescue her brother. Or start the thing to rescue her brother. Uh, I am right now going to do this mission as the last thing we do tonight. But obviously we will definitely be back to play some more of this game very soon. Well, let's get through this first. Kind of this way a bit. Mm, I think this is it actually, yeah. Here is the Adachi estate. Or Adachi. Adachi? Is she here? Well, let's have a look. She's not here. Somebody's shoved a spear in the ground. So that's one of their weapons. Passing kids out the window. is in here? Am I standing in the fire? Absolutely ransacked. Well, except they left some supplies behind. I mean, if you're going to ransack the place, at least do a good job of it, right? <laughs> okay, so there's another house over here. Whoa, okay. Oh, he had an extra slash there that I didn't expect. I hit him with that somehow, even though I didn't. I just wasted the kunai there. But who were these men? Who were these masked men? He didn't have masks on, so... Let's have a look inside first. Some supplies. So if anyone went, they'd have fled on horseback. The stables are over there. Over there. Over there. Mm, some... Dry blood. But someone took the horses. Someone took them away. Hmm. So there's some footprints we can follow just on the ground. And blood. It's an uncomfortable situation, whatever's happened. Looks like someone's been dragged through there. Uh, I think I've lost where I'm going. Where did I see those footprints? Ah, here we go. Yeah, okay. Found them again. Easy to pick up the trail. Archers hunting them. They missed, apparently. There's more arrows there, so I guess they must have gone across this way. There's a dead horse. Yep. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's her. Oh, it's... It's Lady Masako. The other person we were looking for. She just looks tired. No, they were wrong. Two of us did. At least. Nope. Hmm. 
Why have I come? I need some help. Yeah, he's alive. I, I think I should not made it clear that. Yeah. Our whole clan is gone. So how can she help? Not really. Because. Because they're bad. What more do you want to know? I need your help. And you need mine. Hmm. Sorry, that noise was annoying. Hmm. Sure. Okay, let's do that. Whatever, we're going. This is the tale of Lady Massacre. And this is... So we'll do this before... Before the end of the stream. So I just want to check something very quickly. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. They were outnumbered. Not over. It's not over yet. It's not over, not over. Etc. So where are we going? Hunting for the people that killed her family. You buried your family there. What, under those bits of rock over there? The greyer area must be, because uh, there's some fresh flowers there. Well, it's honour the dead. As you should. Mm. Everybody's dead. Mm. Brutality. Brutality. Yeah, it's all bad. So what now? What do we do? Okay. The Golden Temple. Uh, they deserve to die. And they walk free is shameful. Yeah. Punish them, yes. That we must. Is the temple? Why are you not wanting to find Sogan? Tell him the fate of the clan. You see? Okay. Something I can have. Nice. So she's not coming in at all, she's going to go round the outside. If you 
excuse the expression, just want to see if there's anything lying around. Mm, no, there's not. Well, let's go, just go inside then. Uh, so there's some stuff around. Speak to that guy, see what he's got to say. Hey, how's it going? Having a good day. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, just, you know, giving this a little playthrough. I've played a bit of it already, but uh, kind of started again for this. But yeah, no, doing all right. Doing all right. How about yourself? What have you been up to? Yeah, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Stash family. <laughs> awesome. Have you just finished or are you doing something soon or? So I'm just kind of going to get through this mission and I think that'll be about where I finish up, but yeah, I'll need to once I've done this, I think. That'll probably be my next thing. Although I'll probably end up staying up really late watching something, watching one stream or another. <laughs> Seems to be what I've been doing the last couple of days. Uh, okay, so we've done that part of this. That sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> sounds about right. It's uh, definitely what I've done the last couple of days. <laughs> but, you know... Got to put the time in, right? <laughs> okay, so we got some samurai armor, which is going to be quite useful. Yeah, it's... it's is. I think that's just the thing, isn't it? The sleep patterns are just uh, non-existent. Okay. Right, so we're just going to finish this mission off. Oh, are you on? Do you do an early one, do you? I'm trying to do a couple of sort of daytime ones. Um, I find it easier to do it in the evening. Everyone else is asleep or whatever, you know, in the house. Half the trouble with trying to do anything early, though, you know, is I end up sleeping past it. Alright, okay. Yeah. I'll just maybe drop by tomorrow and have a look. Well, if I'm if I'm there around in time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'd prefer doing it in the evening. Although uh, I know some people obviously do them a lot longer than than me, I'm only doing the couple hours, but right, yeah, I've been playing a bit of that. The, the trouble is, I'm usually not very good at at, at any of them, uh, <laughs> but I've been I've been enjoying it, you know. It might be something I look at. I'm looking at some sort of multiplayer game at some point, but I, battle royale games is always the same for me. I'm just not very good at them, you know. I think the closest I got to anything was... Yeah, I'll... I'll, <laughs> I'll have to check it out. Uh oh, I've lost him. No, I think the best, the best I've ever managed is probably 14th on my own, you know. <laughs> And that mostly involves uh, not killing anyone. <laughs> I 
Definitely prefer the more traditional sort of multiplayer modes, I think. He hasn't seen us. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, that's something I need to... Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to him. <laughs> now that's the thing, you, all want, you want to... Keep everything flowing nicely. Keep everyone uh, together on that. Oh no! Just deer, he said, and then he saw me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's so rare that I do play anything multiplayer these days. I, I need to see about getting something onto one of my streams that I can play set sort of regularly. I think that sometimes the other trouble with that for me is that there's so many people that are much better. <laughs> is he coming back? It's probably also almost not worth bothering. Aye. All oh, right. Yeah, that's obviously pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're playing at that sort of level regularly, then yeah. It definitely works. Just need to deal with this guy and his friends, I think. It's the kind of thing it'd be good to get involved in the. Yeah. I think I, you know, half of my problem's always been I don't, I don't spend enough time applying myself to, to, to those kinds of games. I'm sure if I did I might do a bit better, but at this stage, you know, it's maybe a bit late. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of these guys. Well then, what are you waiting for? Nice. Yeah. Ah. It's good to have the, the sort of setup, you know, with everybody knowing what they're doing and kind of linking up that to do things kind of well, I suppose. Some problems right now with these fights. I'm going to get attacked from behind by those uh, spears if I'm not careful. There's too many of them. Come on, then. fight. Some problems with these guys. Oh, I'm gonna die. Especially if I get stuck there. Especially if I get stuck there. That, that dodge wasn't the one I wanted to do. Come on. Ah, there we go, got some healing stuff there just at the right time. Come on. There's, uh... That 
come on. I thought I could parry there, but I totally ruined the timing, and I'm dead. Dead. There's a lot of stuff I'm not doing there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> didn't go well at all. Not moving in the right directions. I'm getting myself surrounded is the biggest problem. Get behind me, that's not what you want to do. There we go, much better. How's he still standing? Don't understand how that guy was still up. There we go, that should finish him now. How he didn't. I don't know how he didn't get he didn't attack me there. I'm just rolling around too much. I need to slow that down a bit. Missed. Oh what? Where did they come from? Just as I thought it was over. Another one comes. There we go. Takes him down. Come on. That's the way. Who's left? What? I thought that I'd taken them all down. Where did he come from? Not a problem anymore, anyway. Now we need to go inside. Let's go inside then. Oh, got there eventually. <laughs> yeah, you're dead now, mate. Don't shoot the messenger, is that what he's trying to say, do you think? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> bang my headphones into my uh, mic there, nice. Days. He's not going to tell us anything. He's never going to tell us anything. Yeah, that's the way. Vengeance. That's what it's all about, right? Any good samurai story, it's always about vengeance. Well, not always, but... Okay, what exactly have I got to do? Look at all this stuff and see if we can find out who uh, who he works for. Yeah, dead rotten fish, nice. Let's not have any of that. Spare weapons like really plain bows. Some sort of note there. What's that first? Payment. I don't know if that was the exact if that was if those were the exact terms of the payment. I don't think that's what they said that the payment was for. 
So again, Sado, Mai, Kajiwara, and Amura. Masako, Masako might know them. Maybe. Let's go find out. I don't know if that was what was written on the bit of paper when they were paid. Did I find... No, I found nothing. Nothing at all. She's just go, going to go into a blood rage if she finds anything out. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's a perfect chance, isn't it? The Mongol hordes come in and get rid of all of the proper samurai. So then other family can come in and gain nobility through no one else being there. That's her choice. Oh, she's going to help me rescue my uncle, that's alright then. And that's why I did this, so that she would help me rescue my uncle. <laughs> if not, I'd rather not have done it. Is that how it works? Oh, there we go, we've recruited Lady Masako. And cleared another mission in the story. Oh, we also cleared quite a few technique points there. So that's good. Alright, well. Uh, that's where I think I'm going to finish for tonight. So uh, thanks very much for dropping by and saying hi. Uh, and uh, I'll maybe see if I can drop by tomorrow and see what's, see what's happening with you guys. Um, but time for me to head off for the moment, I think. So... See you later, and I'll be back with this at some point soon, I'm sure, among all the other games that I'm playing at the same time. Maybe I need to wait and just go through this on its own. Seems like it, it's uh, going to be a, a, a good option, I think. Uh, we'll see how we feel about it. Anyway, for now, thank you very much. I will see you next time. Well, that's pretty much it. Good night.